couple episodes ago, Christian, you were talking about how Daredevil has joined She-Hulk. Okay, how yeah, are we bringing like, that up now? Okay. Like she appeared. Well, I, it, it's <laughs> more adjacent than that. I was just thinking, like, if because uh, that means that for the first time, Charlie Cox's Daredevil is on Disney Plus. Yeah, you know, and <laughs> unless you count uh, Spider Man. Oh yeah, I didn't. Well, That's I don't think Spider Man's on Disney yeah. Plus. Yeah, but yeah, it's just like, you know. Once upon a time, he would have. That would have meant that he would have come out on like Disney Channel or something. Yeah. And I just imagine like, you know, it's got the white background and he's got the little magic baton and he's like, "Hi, I'm Charlie Cox <laughs> and this is Disney Channel." And then you see him and he like just makes a completely <laughs> unintelligible squiggly line <laughs> on the on the screen. <laughs> like he's like, like <laughs> I play Daredevil. He can't like do it at all it's just a complete let's just mess on the screen <laughs> ba, ba, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> like he, i could see it now he would like pretend to like because it like cuts away from him making the the mickey mouse and then he like it cuts away and he's like fighting the air in a playful way yeah <laughs> he like he's like facing the like Opposite direction. Dude, he actually does a perfect one. <laughs> how did you? How would you be able to see? <laughs> I'm I, a really good lawyer. <laughs> I'm a really good lawyer. <laughs> he says that like he said that again in the She-Hulk thing. I'm does like, he really? That lines are really cheesy. <laughs> I kind of. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like it. I, I roll with that punch. I well, I don't. I don't know if like. I mean, I've seen it now. Like the Daredevil episode of the She Hulk came out, and it's it's not as bad as I was thinking it was gonna be. But yeah. it's still just like, look how they massacred my boy. Like this is my boy. Well, that's the thing about the whole like Marvel Phase Four, is just like. I don't know how to put it. For Marvel phases one through three, there were all these criticisms, and they weren't, I'm not going to say they were unfounded, but they were so ridiculously exaggerated that they were almost unfounded. Like, uh, you're not making this up, but you're, you're, it, it's not as bad as you're making it out to be like, there's no good villains in the MCU, and I'm like, Killmonger, Loki, Thanos. You know, yeah. Um, you know, every single time they, anything important happens, they always make a joke, and it's like that's true for some of the movies. But there's also Civil War, the entirety of Marvel Phase One up until Avengers. You know, like uh, I don't, I, I, I might disagree with you on that one. It's, it's, there's, they're funny, but it's not like it's not that. <laughs> For every single movie, every single time, yeah, there's like it doesn't run every single movie. Yeah, and also in Civil War, remember there's scenes like, you know, I don't care, he killed my mom. You know, there's no jokes for that whole after yeah, that there, line. There, there's there's good, nothing, you know. There's good stuff. Um, and there's wide swaths where like, because it's not just oh they're too jokey. The criticism is you're not allowed to have any drama. Be- because every time there is drama, there's a joke that undercuts it. I think I think that is a big... I don't think that happens every time, but that is a big problem. I it mean. is a big problem, but it's unfair to say that there's never any drama, you know, like every single time there's you know, it's, it's undercut in, in phases one through three, you know? Yeah. Like, there's just all these things. And then something happened after Endgame. Where they were like, hey, what if we made all of these criticisms absolutely true, even in their most exaggerated sense? Let's make everything as bad as we could possibly make it. You know, like, I was okay with, like, there being a couple of, uh, a little time to breathe. Because in Marvel events and comic books, after a big event, you have, like, a little, like, the conflict has to ramp down and you build back up again. I was okay with that. I knew that Tony Stark and Captain America weren't coming back. I get that. I get that. 
So I was ready for it to, uh, to have a little step down and then build back up. But sweet Lord, what has happened? What has happened to the MCU? What have they done to my beautiful boy? Like, yeah. holy the, crap. The biggest, the biggest thing that I think they've gotten right so far is... Remember when Martin Scorsese was like, I think that Marvel movies, all they are just like roller coasters. Like yeah. Roller coaster movies. And then at most people were like, you're kind of whack for that, bro. That's right. that's not true. And I agree with that. That's not true. Yeah. Until now. Until now. Well, they, it literally is. Like, there's a, there's a couple movies that I've gone and I've seen. I'm like, that was a fun time. Other than that, that was, like, not particularly great. Yeah. Up until now. And that was the better movies for this, like, phase so far? Yeah, the best movie of this phase is Spider-Man No Way Home, which, first of all, had a lot of Sony in it, involvement in it. Oh, I gotta go get that letter. Yeah. Okay. But second of all, not only did it have Sony involvement, but also the movie is still plot-wise not perfect like it's pacing is a little all over the place yeah the first the beginning of the movie isn't that great it just kind of works anyway despite its flaws it kind of is more than the sum of its parts i don't know how to put it well it's more to me the second half just is just absolutely brilliant right right it just it lands it hits things just right you know it's like you see spider-man you know um and then I am not on, on, as hard on Doctor Strange as a lot I, of other people are. I like Doctor Strange. It, it, it was it has a lot of problems too, but it it also has a lot of things to enjoy about it. If yeah. that makes sense. I think there are things that are done well in that movie that yeah. are not. Seems like people aren't really giving any credit, and I, I I think there are things that are done well in that movie. Yeah, like like a big one I see all the time is you know. Oh, Wanda did this horrible thing to this city, and then she doesn't get any consequences in WandaVision. And then in Doctor Strange, you see the consequences, and they're like, they completely changed Wanda and just ruined her. And I'm like, what? They just did. Now, maybe it's a different group of people, because, of course, I'm just talking about a mindless hive on the internet. So it could be any number of different people. But it seems like the narrative kind of changed to just be, I hate Wanda. So, it sounds like I'm defending these movies. I'm actually trying to do the opposite. What has happened? They're awful. Yeah. I mean, they're awful. You know, like, Thor Love and Thunder wasn't even, like, a good time. Like, it was just kind of bad. That was actually the one, one of the ones that I was kind of like, at least my first time, I kind of enjoyed it. It was, I thought that was a roller coaster movie where I kind of yeah. enjoyed it, but I was like, as a movie, this doesn't really hold up kind of thing. There are things I like about the movie, like... Um, Everything with Christian Bale, the scene where they fight on the planet is really cool. On that black and white planet is really cool. Um, everything about traveling through space on the rainbow bridge that's being created is so... Like, a, a lot of it is so beautiful. I really like that. And so I came out of the theater with a higher... Like, I liked it more. Yeah. Um, but... What is she trying to get you to do? I think I have I to give her my might, joy pendants. Just hold, just uh, present the joy pendants to her. <laughs> I already tried that. Well, actually, I did it before. Here, let me try that again. Yeah. Um, but it's just like... But that movie was completely ruined by its own comedy. Yeah. Dang. <laughs> you are not going to take this. Hold on. Oh, I gotta talk to this gang of kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go talk to them. Okay. Oh, I hate these kids so much. So anyway, it's like... And then the TV shows, like, the Netflix TV shows, they weren't perfect, but other than Iron (laughs) Fist, they were pretty... Good. I thought they were really good. And then Daredevil then. was amazing. It was like Dare, Daredevil is my favorite superhero show, and in competition for my favorite show, like period. That's exactly what I would say. It's like up there, yeah. you know. Um, 
Jessica Jones season one is really, really, yep. really yep. good. Yep. The other two seasons don't even compare to it, and they're still really good. <laughs> I haven't seen the other seasons of that show. Oh, yeah. They're good. They're not blow your socks off good, but they're, you know, there's a lot to enjoy. Um, Luke Cage season one in particular was pretty cool. And, uh, but I, and then Iron Fist, of course, was awful. But, like... Iron Fist was the bad one, you know? Yeah. Are you having to find these kids now? Yeah, I gotta do this whole thing. Huh. I guess we didn't do it earlier. I really hope I remember. Um, the Disney Plus shows are just, like, WandaVision, I like the beginning of, and then they kind of, like, are like, oh, you know, don't forget, you know, it was Agatha all along, and as soon as it's Ag- Agatha is introduced... The show falls apart. They, they, like, forgot to write an ending for the show. I mean, that's, yeah, it's just the finales of those shows are just so bad. Um, Loki, in my opinion, completely blew its own premise. It could have been Doctor, S- Doctor Who, but Loki, which would have been awesome, you know? Yeah. Um, and then they, like, were, like, they introduced that concept, they use it for one episode, and then they're done. Yeah, that's that's where I was at. So my thing with Wandavision, I I was kind of like, I think it's kind of like my thing with like all the shows. Where I was like, this is like such an insanely good premise. This is insanely good. This is like if you do this right, you can make some of your best content off this these yeah. shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every single one so far has been like the most meh thing ever. Yeah, so like, you're not just talking about WandaVision, you're saying all of the Disney Every shows single are, one so far. The premises are so uh, so cool. I mean, Captain America, uh, the Winter Soldier, or the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. The beginning of that show, at the beginning of that show, Steve Rogers has given Sam Wilson the shield, and so Sam is going to be able to become the next Captain America, or at least inherit Steve's legacy. At the end of that show... Captain America has given Sam Wilson the shield so that he can inherit his legacy. Like, yeah. nothing has changed. <laughs> yeah. In the, in the middle, it's just, like, a lot of, like, political stuff that I don't really want to get into. Right, right. And it, it's... But, like, past all of that, the show is just so awkward. There's, it's yeah. just, like, the humor is so weird and doesn't work. Yeah. And there's just a lot of, like, political stuff that, like, I don't know. Whenever Disney tries to put that stuff in their shows, it's like no, that's that's such like a bad tactic because like you know that's just gonna rile people up and you know right half the people are gonna not like your show right if you're, you try you're to do that kind gonna of gonna alienate part of your audience and 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 even not then like in terms of like with character development in terms of the wider MCU they introduce and solve a problem within the show it's like an anime filler episode like nothing yeah. actually happens. By the beginning and end of the show, you could take out uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier entirely. And what's different is, Cap- is Sam Wilson calls himself Captain America, and he wears a red, white, and blue suit. suit. Yep. You know, um, I'm trying to go through the shows in my head here. They have um, Loki. I I didn't hate Loki. I I think the first two episodes were really strong, and then after that, I was disappointed with mm-hmm. where they went with it. Because once, like like you, I was like, oh, this is, like, going to be so cool. So cool. So And then, like, after that, it's just, like, I didn't think it was awful, but I was just kind of like, okay, that could have been better. And they completely took away, like, I don't know, Loki was a real force to be, met, to be reckoned with before because he was so clever and so mischievous, and he always had more going on than met the eye. Yeah. And in the show, they keep saying that that's the case. But it's never the case in the show. Yeah. You know, he, he just, he's just any general protagonist. I don't know how to put it. Like, which um, it's also like the Loki from Avengers, too, which is even weirder. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like, I don't know what changed. I don't know if they put someone different in charge that I'm not aware of. I think they're just directionless, kind of. They they, don't they know did what to do. they did the movies they wanted to do and then they were like we gotta still keep going yeah and I mean they they got a bunch of you know comics they can do like for yeah. for years and years and years so they can but like clearly they like 
have no idea where to go right now. They have like their multiverse thing, but they're not doing a good job with that. Yeah. Because like everything like establishes the multiverse and like yeah. every new thing. It's just not consistent. And the way that Loki deals with the multiverse doesn't match with how um, um, the Ancient One describes the multiverse in Endgame. Like, yeah. the, the, the lore doesn't match up. It's like, when on earth did I switch over to watching Fox's X-Men in terms of yeah. your ability to maintain your own universe and lore? Like, what happened um the 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 jokes aren't landing they're much more cringy and they're far too often the the villains like you know who's the villains for this flag smasher yeah. you know um I, I can't even think you know other loki who ends up not really being a villain and the T T C M or whatever yeah like I don't know. It's just like ah, I don't. I don't know how to put it. It's completely and totally just well, fallen off the I, rails. I go through the process every time they release a new show because they re- they come out with a new show and I'm like, there's a million things you could do with this that would be yep. amazing. Yeah. Every time I'm like, all right, let's see if they actually do something with this. And every time it's six episodes of like whatever just like the most mediocre thing you can imagine and it's like why you know why do they keep doing these six or eight episode shows like give the show time to breathe and become something yeah you can't like i'm not i was about to say you can't tell a show uh, a good story in six episodes that's not true because movies exist yeah but i mean that's basically all they are they, they need to be movies it's like i don't know how to put it except for there's like Six episodes is just too long. That like you, ha- it feels like too long of a movie. There he is. You have to roll it. Yeah, that I just tree. saw him. Um, like six is just long enough that it feels like it's too long to be a movie, but so short that it's too short to be a show. So you don't really have like, it's like the worst of both worlds. Yeah. Um. And it's that over and over again. Plus, and once again, I keep, like, so what? You've got Shang-Chi, which is, I think, is acceptable by, like, phase one Marvel standards. Yeah, it was it was good enough. It was, it was good enough. I liked it. It wasn't actively offensive, but it didn't, like, light the world on fire yeah. either. Um, and then, what else am I forgetting? Oh, my gosh, I forgot. And you and I disagree about this. But oh, Eternals! Eternals. Now, you like I said, you and I disagree about this. But, uh, slightly. Well. Oh uh, no, well, we disagree more. Because remember, when I watch a movie at first, I tend to have a more positive opinion until a, some time has passed, and after time has passed, I tend to kind of like even out a little bit. Mm-hmm. So when we talked last time, I thought I think I said, yeah, Eternals had a lot of missed potential. Beforehand, I would have said. I, I have a hard time picking what's my least favorite Marvel movie, what's mm. like my bottom of the bottom of the bottom, and now there's no competition. Eternals is my bottom because I have never had as hard a time getting, like I've never felt like I had to force my way through a Marvel movie until I watched Eternals. Mm-hmm. Um, there are other movies that are technically worse. If I actually go through and I break down, like, the casting and the acting and the pacing and the, you know, Iron Man 2 had a lot of things going against it. Yeah. Hulk, they hadn't quite put their feet down for what they wanted to do yet. Thor the Dark World, they were still lost with what to do with Thor. You know, there's there's real problems with those movies. But I enjoy those movies despite themselves, at least to some degree, even if it's only, like, by 2 or 3%. There is not a single scene or a single moment in Eternals that I enjoy. I actively hate that movie. It is All right, awful. How, how, how much time we got left? We're at twenty-one minutes, but we had to cut. I have to cut out a lot. Do you want to start a new? Let's episode? let's talk about this next episode. Okay. All right. Sound good? That sounds good. That sounds. I good. would love to talk about. This. Okay, <laughs> let's do it. All right. Thank you guys for tuning into our rants. I'll. Uh, See you next time on Wind Waker. You know what to do. And if you don't, ask someone.